Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Oliver Rennick here to take you through today's market action. It was a sell-off and it was a big one. The Russell took the biggest hit down 3%, but the Nasdaq was right there with it with a 2.5% loss. S&P 500 the Dow Jones each down about one and a quarter percent in the red. There were a few sectors that actually did advance and they were more safety oriented. It was the utilities up the most by 2%. Real estate added one and a half roughly. Consumer staples were up more than 1%. But crucially, after being Wednesday's big winner, tech was the biggest laggard today, down three and a half percent almost. Energy lost two and a half percent roughly. Consumer discretionary about the same. It was brutal. But MAG7 earnings might leave some hope. Very key companies post-market today. Apple, the giant beat on the top and bottom line. With revenue over a billion dollars higher than estimates, iPad Max sold more than expected. iPhone sales were over 300 million below estimates. Wearables also slightly down in sales. Overall though, net revenue grew in all markets except for China stocks wavering in the aftermarket. For Amazon, generally more weakness. However, the delivery business did hit its quarterly EPS goal, but missed on revenue. Amazon Web Services top line beat expectations growing almost 20% annually. The company reported more than $45 billion combined in fulfillment, tech and infrastructure expenses. For the third quarter, Amazon expects to make 154 to 158.5 billion dollars in sales. Then the ugly Intel terrible report in historic breakdown in the semiconductor business after years of dominance now struggling behind Nvidia. It came home to roost in the numbers a 15% headcount reduction and a suspension not a cut of the dividend. That is big and the last thing you want as a bull. Tomorrow We've got some energy companies that are going to give us earnings to close out the week. Exxon, Chevron, AMC will also release its report after market close. But the highlight, of course, is economic data in the morning, non-farm payrolls. All the pressure is on the employment report to try and give the market something to run with. That's it for The Wrap. I'm Oliver Rennick. Remember to tune in 24-7 to schwabnetwork.com.